Hey what's up guys Wicked Android HD here and today I'm gonna be flashing latest update from the NVDH and Crichton uh, Google Edition ROM 5.0.1 it's a small update but uh, uh, mainly they have uh, stripped out the Aroma Insular and have they have made some serious changes along the OTA uh, support over the air support. Let me turn off the speaker. Okay, first of all, I do always recommend making Android backup of the current configuration so, even in case if something goes wrong, you'll be able to return to your current backup. And afterwards, a must, of course, as always, is to wipe and format your system clean to install a new ROM. Right now, formatting cache. So, there aren't uh, many, you know. There isn't a big change log, for example. You'll see what uh, uh, the uh, what changes does Aroma Insular bring to you to users, and uh, we'll discuss this later. So for wiping system, uh, this is a stock Google Edition ROM. So it's developed by Google. It's not an Android open source project, so it should be stable. I just had a heart attack a couple of minutes ago because I accidentally deleted YouTube my YouTube video with all the templates and all the intros and outros I have been uh, <coughs> making all the time and the fact is that I have used Recuva Recuva or how does it pronounce a uh, program in order to recover the files and I successfully recovered them to a such a release because yeah you know I had a kind of Hard stock attack when I discovered that there weren't any intros in the template project of my main mainly reviews and yeah it's kind of bad story okay um, install zip then choose zip from SD card one gaps are included by default so we don't need to flash anything else apart from this zip zip file starting aroma installer yes Google Edition project. As you may see, latest update made on 19th of April 2015. ROM updated. You can see the change log simplified installer options. Many items moved to add-ons in the over the air app. This sort of fixes the exchange issues people had. Many made updating pre build app easier without having to issue a new ROM, remove hard swap stuff good, update Google Play and other applications leaves internal storage untouched take care while flashing this we're gonna use Hulk kernel with overclocking dots per inch 360 okay really fast and smooth installation with uh, some minimalistic touches and of course it's gonna install a couple of moments because it's not over bloated as every touch with ROM is right now it's distracting as you may see 80 93%, 96, almost done. Installing data, sim linking, installing CPU rerouting, Google Max kernel. I'm not, I have not chosen Google Max kernel, but I think it's a an updater script bug. Let's see the boot animation. I think it's a stock one from Lollipop. Okay, let me turn on the device because it doesn't auto reboot. Okay. Let's see the boot animation and of course as always I'm gonna get back to you guys after it finishes the booting up process. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back right here with latest update from the NVDH and Crichton ROM, just to show you. 
it, uh, it runs Hulk kernel overclocking version. This ROM has no branded names on it just because the developers want to keep it as clean as possible. Let's browse some apps. These are the apps that come uh, default except this one kernel adjutor which I have downloaded from uh, Google Play Store in order to customize kernel settings but let's draw some apps like calculator um, calendar camera, let's the camera stock google camera next picture taken right there clock What I think there is kind of lag, but I don't know why. It's a CPU problem. Nope. Let's set it to interactive. Okay, and what about a hot plug? Let's set it to performance. Okay, so contact Hulk kernel. So we have a Hulk kernel. S Twix application which allows us to customize kernel settings but I'd rather prefer uh, I'd rather use kernel adjutor because uh, I think it looks better this also behaves the same this is the Google messaging um, OT, OTA update so right now as you may see Happens. You have all the old options you had in Aroma Isler here. Add the way cameras, and again mode browser, uh, Google Apps next edition, Cyanogen mode lock, Google Apps live wallpapers, and so on. So you can click download, and it, they will download here, and then you will be able to install them by using recovery mode. Phone, let's make a call and see how fast dial again the lag problem the dialer hasn't been fixed um, photos Google Play Store settings let's dive into settings bright settings as you may see interface it comes with battery status style you can customize it which you may see right there boot animation buttons clock you can set it to center music controls network traffic you can enable it right there show you the traffic screen sorry advanced settings scenario I always keep it uh, not mode to dynamic because it will show you more more colorful screen status bar sorry status bar you can customize you can set up your 4G icon and so on uh, regarding the battery 84 I don't know I have started the review at 86 but uh, I can't tell you far enough how good or how bad is it because um, I can test it for more than a couple of minutes but overall it's a very simple ROM I heard that it's stable because it's developed it's mainly developed by Google as well as the Google Edition firmware are so this was the review thanks for watching guys i hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel rick tandroid is out bye bye